everyone and welcome. Winter has finally arrived here in Alabama. Not really. Today is Halloween and it's 75 degrees outside. It's been so warm that I haven't even got my hunting gear out of the attic yet. And hunting season here in Alabama has been going since the beginning of October. Now winter will get here eventually and with the COVID cases starting to rise again, I believe there's going to be another food shortage and I'm just kind of loosely basing that off of talking to the local grocers who have started noticing that it's harder for them to get certain things. Now we are not survivalists, we're not preppers, we're just simply people who try to be prepared. Currently we have several different ways of preserving food. Uh, we have vacuum sealing, we have vacuum sealing and freezing, we have canning, and today I'm going to try to add salt to our preservation methods, and in particular making bacon. I was at the big box store the other day and they had the high mountain buckboard bacon kit it makes like 25 pounds of bacon they had it on clearance so i ended up buying it and this is my first attempt at using something like this i've never made bacon or used any type of salt or spices or whatever to preserve food so let's go in the house and get started so here's the cure that i'm going to use to make this bacon it's a high mountain western legends buckboard bacon cure and one box will cure 25 pounds the directions say that one tablespoon and one and a quarter teaspoon per pound of meat. So here is my cure and to the pre-made cure I added one large tablespoon of brown sugar and one teaspoon of kosher salt. Now I'm just going to take my cure, kind of sprinkle some on there and then rub it in. And you want to make sure you get the whole surface area covered as well as any nooks and crannies like that. Now I'm just going to take and put it in a plastic bag and seal it up, but I'm not going to vacuum seal it. So here's my pork that's been curing for 10 days. I've taken rinsed it. So here's my so here's my pork that's been curing for 10 days. I took and rinsed it off and patted it dry. And I'm going to take and slice this in half so that it'll smoke evenly. So I've got my little homemade smoker going, and I'm fixing to add the meat to it. Now that I've got my meat in the smoker, I'm going to close it up and wait for the temperature to reach about 225 and then I'm going to leave it there for about two hours. I let my bacon smoke for about three hours and I'm now ready to pull it off. So here's my bacon after pulling it out of the smoker and it actually does look like real bacon. So now I'm going to take and just put it in the freezer for a few minutes and cool it off. I'm quite impressed with it, and I'm just going to take now and slice it up, and to do that I'm going to use my Ulu knife. So there's using the High Mountain Buckboard Bacon Kit, and the end product turned out really well, although it did have kind of a ham taste to it, and I don't know if it was just the seasoning mix or whatever. Now, in comparing the buckboard bacon kit versus store-bought bacon, there were a lot more chemical ingredients in the store-bought than there were in the buckboard bacon kit. So that's kind of food for thought. But now that I've learned the process and I know that it works, I'm gonna do it again, except for I think I'll get my own uh, recipe for it, use my own spices, this, that, and the other, and see if it tastes any better. But anyway, like I said, it did turn out pretty good. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.